Hi Gemini, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Pisces, twice. Libra, Sagittarius. Yeah, that's those are the prominent signs coming through here. Uh, let's start with how your person perceives themselves, their self-image. We have Nine of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> this person has a healthy self-image. They're quite independent, perhaps single right now. Yeah, most likely they're single right now. I'm getting that throughout their energy. But they see themselves as someone who's blessed, um, not only uh, materially, physically, yeah, they just, they're wholesome, they're complete within themselves, and a very grateful, blessed individual is what I'll say about that. For how other people perceive them, we have Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Other people see that your person's stable, they have wealth, so yeah, physically, mentally strong, um, someone who's Almost a 10 out of 10, because we have 9 of Pentacles and 10 of Pentacles. They see themselves as a 9 of Pentacles, other people see them as the 10. So, yeah, maybe humble. <laughs> you know, they're rating themselves 9 out of 10 rather than 10 out of 10. But yeah, 7 of Cups, 7 of Swords, they're attractive, so people see that they have a lot of options. They may be at a point in their life where they don't want to settle. Um, Another thing I'm getting, this person's quite mysterious. I'm getting that with Saturn. Capricorn energy paired with the Scorpio influence. Because Seven of Cups is Venus and Scorpio. A bit evasive. This is a private individual and people may not know a lot about them. So secretive is how other people perceive your person. Their heart space. How they experience and deal with emotions. We have Hanging Man, Nine of Swords. Well... This is someone who's very emotional, which is, I don't know, you know what I've been getting in all my readings? They're either really cut off or they're very emotional, one or the other. I've been getting two extremes for most of the readings. This person's an overthinker. They're quite emotional. We have Pisces here, a very sensitive person. Yeah, that may be an issue. Sometimes they can be overtly sensitive. So, yeah, overthinker, someone, if you hurt them, they'll go within, they'll sulk. Their mental space, how they demonstrate their intellect and their thoughts. We have four of wands, sun. This is someone who's a passionate communicator. Um, this is someone who likes to work together with others. I don't think they have any issue communicating. They're quite intelligent and confident in the way they do express themselves. Not getting someone who's too argumentative. This is someone who likes to work well, uh, work together. So well-liked individual can compromise when they need to. That is what I'm getting. But yeah, there's no issues here in regards to their intellect and the way they express themselves. Quite smart, confident in their speech for their spirituality. I love, love, love this. You know why? Because I haven't gotten a single reading where the person was spiritual or, you know, I couldn't tell because they're too work focused, but your person's highly spiritual. I'm getting that. This is confirmed twice. Very intuitive individual as well. Yeah, maybe psychic in some way. But yeah, this person does. They have a heightened intuition. So they do use that in their everyday life. So that is positive, something you may bond over. Can be someone who's into tarot readings. They believe in all the occult, that kind of thing. They're open-minded when it comes to that. For your first impression of them, we have Justice, Three of Wands, Eight of Wands. This is distant energy. I'm getting movement travel all throughout your reading because look, we have eight of wands, three of wands. We have Sagittarius paired with a knight of wands. We have chariot and we have six of swords at the bottom of the deck. Either it's long distance, you meet while traveling. And this is a foreigner. 
or you meet online. These are the scenarios I'm getting here. But your first impression of them, we have <laughs> eye candy and blocked you. You may see them as a bit snobby, your first impression. Yeah, they're extremely good looking, but they have their back turned to you here. So, yeah, they see themselves as a catch, so they can be a bit snobby. Ooh, I'm not getting that too strongly because of justice here. But it may just be that you think, oh, they're so attractive, they're not going to pay attention. Or, you know, some insecurities may be coming through when you see them. But it's funny because they're seeing you in a similar manner, which I'll get to. But let's look at your life circumstances when you meet. We have Nine of Wands, Knight of Wands, Temperance. So Knight of Wands can signify travel and Temperance is Sagittarius, which rules distant land, but also travel. So yeah, I'm getting your life circumstances. It could be that you're traveling. Others of you are just tired of F boys, girls. You're exhausted of players, people wasting your time and energy. You're extremely guarded and you're healing. So it's either you're traveling and you meet them, which is possible, likely possibility. And for others of you, it's, yeah, you're just guarded because you're tired of people wasting your time. For their first impression of you, we have Eight of Pentacles, King of Cups. So... Oh, okay. They see you as someone who's hardworking, uh, hard dedicated, working on some sort of project here. But someone who's emotional, but King of Cups usually doesn't wear their emotions on their sleeve. Usually calm, cool, collected, very peaceful energy. You're minding your own business. We have that with your love tea. We have wasting time and need a break. So the energy is mutual. You're seeing them as blocked you. And they're seeing you as a wasting time, need a break. You're very distant. You're not bothered, not paying attention, minding your own business. Four of Swords energy coming through. I think you're preoccupied here with the Eight of Pentacles. You may not notice or give this person any attention, actually. You'll notice them, though, with the eye candy. You'll be attracted to them. There's passion here with the Eight of Wands. You may not show it because they'll see you as a bit disinterested. For their life circumstances when you meet, we have Seven of Pentacles, Hermit, and Chariot. Again, travel coming through, right? Chariot movement. I think they're withdrawn single when you meet, kind of minding their own business. They're waiting for something, you know? Seven of Pentacles is usually... It's Virgo energy, but someone who's invested energy, time into something, and they're waiting, watching, waiting for the, to gather the fruits of their labor almost. So, I don't know, it could be they're all, oh, okay, it could be that you meet through, I want to, how will you meet? Sometimes we can ask, I'll try. And that doesn't help, does it? At night time, perhaps, while traveling. Mm, Ace of Wands, why? I'm getting a few scenarios here for how you'll meet some of it's out of the blue this is a destined meeting that is coming through with star but it can be at night time um you're traveling to a different location or this person's traveling or it's a formal setting this person could be some sort of authority figure they're coming through as ten of pentacles or you are a boss leo king of swords mm. Oh, okay, Ace of Cups, love at first sight is what is coming through. See that? Uh, 
from some of you this can be a teacher or something someone that you ask for help school work is coming through is how you'll meet your person taking some sort of class and you may need their assistance but it can be work some formal setting but it's love at first sight ace of cups ace of wands instant attraction is what is coming through um let's look at your oracle cards now you yeah i've had this channel for a while now little i think five months or so i've never had this card come out rarely but you're the first twin flame you'll soon meet your twin flame it may be filled with challenges until you merge and balance your energies i think you both will feel this they're quite intuitive and so are you there will be an instant it's like a magnetic um attraction to one another so i think it's love at first sight on both ends we have slow and steady though you're both acting disinterested or hard to get when you meet we have slow and steady wins the race progress may be slow but it will turn out to be beneficial than to make hasty decisions that's beautiful so there's no rushing anything here you'll take your time with one another and we have sacred bond yeah you will have a spiritual connection that will allow you to see yourself through the person you love beautiful very spiritual intuitive uh, bond let's look at your other cards we have okay joy romance so that's straightforward i think you both <laughs> they're so cute together um but yeah a lot of romantic getaways perhaps traveling i'm seeing the palm trees there so vacationing together um just being romantic affectionate showing one another how much you love and appreciate each other right very romantic couple and we have problem so this is two puzzle pieces that aren't fitting together i see why and i will show you we have let's start with this in your face controlling wish granted so for one this is both of yours a wish fulfillment star you've been hoping praying manifesting this person and your wish is granted but what is happening here one of you specifically this person is very jealous controlling and this aspect of the relationship is being highlighted because we have it at the bottom of your love cards as well with control um yeah it's more of a heads up because this person's not a bad person you know they're quite independent independent um someone who values their freedom but you or this relationship will be triggering a lot of insecurities within them because look right behind control we have self-consciousness so there's a fear of losing the other and some control issues may surface um there's a lot of jealousy possessiveness here um thinking thinking that at the you know you may leave them for another there's trust issues here and as a result there's manipulative behavior um to keep you in this relationship almost though they don't need to because it's twin flame and i think you're very much in love with them but that is an aspect that you may have to deal with and it could be you with the control issues i don't know but it's mutual energy here you both may have a fear of losing one another but let's get more with just the astrological cards okay and we'll see if we can get more about their personality oh wow third house gemini jupiter not surprised at all venus nice Mars, beautiful. Square, Mars, square. Okay. No, it's too many. I'm 
interesting. Okay, so who this person is, third house, this, you know, along with that spiritual bond between you both, there's a great conversation as well. Um, this will be a strong intellectual bond as um, along with the love and all that, the passion with Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. You have three of the most positive, powerful planets in your uh, reading here. But yeah, there's no lack. But also what I'm getting, you both will be in constant communication with one another. If there's distance with Jupiter, yeah, I'm seeing a lot of messages back and forth. Um, but communication will be important for the both of you. Um, obviously, you're an air sign, so you need that intellectual stimulation. And this person will provide it. They're quite, they're smart. Um, and they, I think you will bond over a variety of topics. Third house is usually a bit of a chatterbox. Someone who has strong third house in their chart. And someone who values, you know, intelligence in another. But also someone who's quite... Um, learned in regards to many subjects someone who can has a good memory and someone who's most likely well learned or may you know those kids in school who just have the greatest memory and they don't have to work as hard but they're just intelligent that's what i'm getting just very smart person has a easier time than others um, understanding complex situations things let me see what else I'm getting. Maybe someone who's quite close to their siblings, who's uh, gifted with technology that's coming through. With Jupiter and Venus, very affectionate, loving individual. Um, someone who enjoys the finer things in life. Um, overindulgence may be an issue here, but you know, that couple where you're trying to lose weight and you're like, babe, should I eat this cupcake? And they'll be like, yeah, yeah, eat too. <laughs> Whatever, you know what I mean? Like, not in a negative way, but just they'll like to enjoy the finer things in life with you. Um, very generous person with their money, their time, their resources. That's what I'm getting that. And quite popular as a couple. Um, both of you will attract a lot of attention. Very sociable couple as well. You'll have a lot of family, friends around you, um, and also a very good-looking couple that is coming through. Yeah, just you understand one another emotionally, and it's, you'll attract a lot of opportunities towards you. Jupiter, Venus, Sinistry perhaps is strong in your chart, but it's usually one of the best aspects to get in a compatibility reading rate. Right? Just two people that enjoy each other's company. You like one another. Um, with Mars here, yeah, I think I talked about the passion, didn't I? Yeah, but there's strong passion chemistry here. Mars, Venus. Um, yeah, so things will be steamy in that arena as well. One person may at times come across as a bit selfish, though. That is where the issues will arrive, especially with that control thing, wanting to have their way. Um, that is coming through here. But very active couple. You both have a lot of energy. I don't think you're a couple that will want to spend a lot of time at home. You're out and about doing things, traveling, short distance travel, third house, and Jupiter, long distance travel. So, yeah, a lot of movement for sure. Let's see. Let's get some characteristics for your person, Gemini. I love your reading. It's so much fun. Oops. Uh, that was too fast. I didn't even ask. Friends first. Yeah, I think we had slow and steady. So you may start as friends and then, you know, build from there. Or you may meet through friends for some of you. Gym first house, yeah, for sure. Someone who likes to work out. Health is important. Punctual, yeah. Well, they're the Ten of Pentacles. So, boss-like figure. Spontaneous, yeah. 
they'll be traveling surprising you with you know spontaneous travels coming through perhaps surprise getaways that's beautiful who a will a gem and oh, caring okay we'll get a couple more who will gemini marry appreciative and caring nice emotional uh they're not taking a full wheel but it did say articulate and something else they can be shy i almost i did see the shy religious mm, could be but i was getting more spiritual doesn't matter they believe in a higher power water moon so cancer pisces scorpio moon but in their heart space we had pisces so they could be pisces moon let's get one more oh such a sweet person though homebody mm. can be i'm not getting that strongly so that'll be for a few of you moody okay yeah water moon that makes sense and we had that nine of swords hanging man right overthinker quite sensitive as a person um but yeah see i'm getting very emotional person this quite sensitive and they'll be quite this is not someone who will take you for granted they'll appreciate the little things you do for them for some of you they can be a homebody but uh, i'm not sure but they can be sometimes, but they also like adventure, travel, a bit of a risk taker here, spontaneous. So I think they may have a blend of both. Um, but very hardworking as well, punctual. So if they say something, they will do it. This is not, you know, someone who will make you wait. Um, if you're meeting up somewhere, they'll be on time. And I think they're quite disciplined in that way. So if they're going to work, this is not someone who will be late, right? They're quite punctual. Um, this is not someone who will miss deadlines, paying, uh, paying their bills on time. They're the nine of pentacles. They have their stuff together uh, is what is coming through. Yeah, someone who takes care of their body, works out. They have it all, really. Just a bit of that water moon moody. They could have a Scorpio moon, too, because of all that jealousy coming through. But overall, sensitive, sweet, loving person and quite romantic. But yes, Gemini, that is what I have for you. Hopefully this was of some help. Um, do take care of yourself and I will see you next week. Bye.